Uh, my name is Naomi McCavitt, and my business is called Thicket Design. <laughs> I grew up close to the James River and we would go and walk down around the James growing up and then I spent half of my childhood in Washington State so totally different habitat there, um, really different plants there and I always liked plants and just nature in general. Because I love to tackle a place, you know, like think about it in terms of what are the plants and animals and mushrooms that all go together in, in, in a system. Usually the process goes something like this. I'm out walking around and like, what do you suppose that is to someone that has no idea? They're like, I don't know, but maybe you should ask this guy. And so then I go and I ask them like, what's up with this plant here? And then I look it up, find a bunch of different pictures, just seeing what's around and um, and if I'm with somebody that knows about it, then that's all the better. I mean, just being in nature is restorative to me. It's not just about trying to collect what my next painting is going to be. I mean, it's, it's a place to go to get back to yourself. I can look things up and I always do research, like that's a huge part of beginning a painting for me. Show me all the plants, make it all native, and tell me about like what caterpillars are feeding the birds that are around and what you know mushrooms would you know help the root systems of this plant. I feel like the more I'm doing that, the more it's sort of educational for people too, like plant native and you're going to provide habitat for all these caterpillars, which in exchange feeds all of these birds, then you know on up the food chain. So the more you can do that, the more you end up with um, really helping to maintain the biodiversity here. Scientists reach out to me that are environmentalists. I've done some anatomical things, so sometimes doctors, you use multiple different resources to get it accurate. What happens to the leaves this time of year? What is it like when, you know, I'm looking at it from the underside versus the top side of it and that kind of thing. And I think painting that subject matter comes out of that and that's part of the point, right? Like that I want to make something that gives people that same feeling. I have a kind of an environmental mission behind my business and my whole life. I mean, I've made all of my decisions kind of based on that, that I think this place is actually Eden. When I see the way that nature works together in a perfect system, even though there can be brutal parts of it, right, with predator and prey and parasitic things, it all is about life willing out, right? And then when I see the individual small portions of things, I'm in awe of just the beauty of it. So to me, that's the only thing that I want to make is things that help people kind of tune into that exact feeling of awe and interest in, in nature. Um, because I feel like if you can tap into that feeling, it will make everyone better stewards for it.